Hello and welcome to Apricot Cottage Studio. Today we're going to make some beautiful baby cards. We're going to be using the Wildly Happy set. It's got four very cute images and some beautiful sayings. So I've made several different versions of this card. Today we're going to make the little fox card. So I have pre-cut my pieces. I have cut a piece of uh, pink paper with the lovely new dies, which are called ornate border dies. They have some beautiful flowers, but I've used the little lacy piece and cut both edges. When you put it through the die, you have to remember to angle it a little bit so that it cuts smoothly, but it does cut beautifully with this beautiful lacy edge. And then I've used the stitched set from the Stitch So Sweetly die is one of my favorites. I've cut a background with gray and I've cut the inside with the sparkly white paper. So we're ready to stamp. Those are all ready to be layered. So I'm going to uh, stamp with uh, some black stays on memento ink like this and I'm going to do the little fox. So I'm going to ink it up just by tapping my ink pad <clears throat> and I'm going to lay it down on the bottom and then I'm going to watercolor it. If you use just regular markers it's a little bit dark of an image, which is fine, but I wanted something a little bit softer since it's a baby card. So I'm going to take my ink and just marker. And this one is Cajun Craze. I'm going to scribble it on my pad, my nonstick surface. And then I'm going to just lightly color it so it gives me that beautiful golden color but it's not so intense. Color the ears and the mama's tail. Of course I'm thinking about babies now because my both of my daughters are expecting and one of them any day now. And unfortunately I can't be there, so I'm making baby cards to help me with uh, that. Just doing a lovely little watercolor. And if you want to make it a little bit more intense, you can take the fine end of your marker and do some outlining and that will make the image stand out a little bit more and you can also pull some of that color there we go a little more ink needed I'm doing it deliberately soft and not worrying too much about getting it into lines, but just enough to give it a soft watercolor look. I'm going to color the tail a little bit, It'll give it lighter so that it looks like it's got a tip on it, like the real foxes. There we go. Then I'm going to add some pale pink in the ears, tie in with the rest of my card, a little pink on those that baby fox's cheeks, and maybe the mama. Fill in any spots that I might have missed and that gives it a little bit more pink tone. There we go. Then I'm going to stamp the saying, and I think I might put sweetest baby 
which is this one. And again, stamp it in memento. Make it up nice and dark. Here we go, sweetest baby. And then I've got the word welcome, which I've cut out of the Well Said series. You could use the Well Said series for um, inside the card. It could say welcome baby and uh, so happy that you're here. Um, I'm using the little die that goes with it that matches. And I'm just going to add a little bit of glue, small amounts. There we go. And I've cut that out of um, rose gold foil that was in one of the kits that we purchased from the Stampin' Up. And then I'm going to layer these pieces. So I'm going to layer my lacy cut background. If it was for a little boy, I could use blue or green or what this one happens to be for a little girl. And I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive on the back. And I've got a piece of thick white card that I've cut from my card base. And it's A2 size. So that goes in the middle. Then I've cut with the largest lacy uh, die the gray piece. And I'm going to put that in the middle. Then I'm going to use my Stampin' Dimensionals to give a little dimension to my Sweetest Baby card, the little card front. And I'm going to use some Stampin' Dimensionals to make the card front stand out. Layer that up. I like the way the copper of the fox works with the pink. There we go. And then I'm going to add a little bow. And I've put some mini glue dots on the back to make it stick. And I think I'm going to put this one down here. I put them in different places depending on how the um, image looks. There we go. And there's our card. And inside I've stamped it congratulations with a great big wish for happiness, which comes from the Sending You Thoughts series from Stampin' Up. And that was a freebie from the uh, um, special sale they just had. And I quite like it. So if you are interested in um, having a kit, if you order this Wildly Happy set, um, you don't have to use it just for baby cards. I did another little card, which was a shaker card. Cut out some circles. It was just a scrap left over from when I was doing some die cutting. And I um, made a little shaker card with it. So it doesn't have to be just baby cards because it says... Uh, for you and wildly happy which can be for any occasion and if you order that from me I will include um, a kit of a blue card and a peach colored pink card with the die cut pieces cut out I can't give you the stamped images but you'll have the stamp set to make the cards and so I will include a a kit with every order that um, happens. That's a really cute set. So thanks for joining me. This is Roxanne. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! dealer from the small town, small but lovely town of Oliver, BC. Thank you.